Where's the record button? There it is. Recording. Okay. And so, well, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. And uh, I've got to get a move on. So, cool. I don't know why my blogs, past three, four if you count this one, have all featured me driving and talking. In fact, there's one I haven't edited yet, which has got loads of me driving and talking. I don't know why. Maybe it's the changing background makes it more interesting. Maybe I'm just doing it to distract you from what is really the mind-numbing tedium of what I'm actually saying to camera. Whereas if I was sat down, static, you'd have turned off by now. I don't know. I mean, is it working? You still watching? If I asked you to think of the dirtiest, filthiest, four-letter word you could think of. You got it? Yeah, same as mine. Auto. Auto anything when it comes to video has been the dirtiest, most unthinkable thing. Well, until recently, really. I've been filming professionally for, I think this is my 27th year now. And only in the past couple of years have I started to use some auto functions. Autofocus is the trickiest of them all. Can you make it work in video? In stills we use it all the time, but it's different because in stills we don't need it to be smooth and invisible. We need it to be natural and realistic, like it's a human changing focus. And until recently, very recently, we've not had cameras which can do that. They're very accurate for stills, but not when it comes to video. Canon's dual pixel autofocus system is one of the best on the market, if not the best. And that first appeared in the C100 in the firmware upgrade. I know when Canon first contacted me and asked if I'd be willing to do a video uh, with them, you know, to see if I could actually, if I liked it or not, I was very reluctant because of my fear, dislike, I'm not sure the right word. Um, I guess lack of trust is probably the best thing of way of putting my, my thoughts about autofocus and it was very good although it was only the center portion uh, a small square in the middle so I went down to the beach and I found a lady with wings as you do in Miami they're all over the place and I got to walk towards the camera at f1.2 trying to keep focus at 1.2 it's so hard manually here did a pretty good job the reason it did a good job is because she's dead center of frame the way that it detects the autofocus is it is actually just the center there's actually a square on there and as long as that square is filled by your subject, that will stay in focus. You can see I'm on the slate here, and as we move off the slate onto her, it racks focus to her. This is a really good thing, but it's also a limitation because it is just the center of frame. So you have to think about that when framing, and of course when you do frame stuff, it's very rare that it's all just in a dead center, you're in focus. Whereas in stills, it's, you can select things by moving the camera, finding the focus point, holding the shutter, and taking the photo, or it's even smarter than that. One lots of cameras now. Phase detection is much better than contrast. If you can use phase detection as well as contrast, and that's what this camera here, the A6300 is using, you can get some very good results. And this camera is probably the best uh, autofocus in the Sony line of any of their cameras, anything from the very most expensive camera they make to the lowest. This is the very best, although it has its own issues, other things you can see right now. It's not too bad, a 24 millimeter Zeiss at 1.8, which is wide open here, and I'm just annoyingly moving backwards and forwards. I think my Batiste is faster, but it's, you can see it's not too bad. Of course, I am moving quite fast, and that's kind of crazy movement, but just subtle movement, it seems to keep track of it quite well, but I do have the sensitivity set to high in the movement to fast. And I'll talk about the settings and how you would change them for different cameras. Has my fear of autofocus been conquered? Or do we still need the focus puller? I think I've had two jobs of focus pullers, probably a few more, no, not many more. But mostly, focus is done by my hand. By my left hand, some nice wrist action. Now, how does that screw up the focus? Does it know what to keep in there? 
Chiedo vale la pena di restare qui abbracciati Mentre il giorno non c'è più e la luna da lassù fa da specchio ai nostri baci Se ti guardo dentro agli occhi mentre già mi batte il cuore E ti dico che per me stare insieme qui con te ha il sapore dell'amore Mio caro l'amore se tu mi baci Caro l'amore sei tu che mi baci Baci di amore mi baci When the X Mark II How will she fare? Pretty well I think Sony A6300 mm -hmm. uh, Panasonic GX80 Sony A7S Mark II Sony A7R Mark II Panasonic GH4 Sony AX53 Sony FS5 Canon 1DX Mark II And because I've got one for, uh, well at the moment just borrowed one uh, JVC LS300 I know a bit random, but it's there That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cameras, that's enough I can see this being a battle between three of these cameras I'm not going to say which ones, but uh, I know, you know. If you've been following autofocus, you'll know. The Sony A6300 is the best and fastest camera that Sony make for autofocus. Well, it was when I made this test. Since then, they've announced the A99 Mark II and the A6500, which is not replacing the 6300, but it's a higher end model. What it adds is touchscreen tracking, and it also now has a five axis stabilized sensor. The A6300 is a very good camera, but for me, it does have a fatal flaw when it comes to video. The rolling shutter artifacts are quite bad because the readout from the sensor is quite slow. So the jello is very prominent which means you have to have a stabilized lens if you can do any handheld work. Otherwise, you're gonna get horrible micro vibrations and some really very bad jello. That's why the announcement of the A6500 is good news because it does have a faster readout and it also has a five axis stabilized sensor. But the camera's video autofocus is very good. What it does have is tracking. You cannot tell it what you want it to track, but it does a very good job of tracking things anyway. Canon 1DX Mark II is a real heavyweight of this comparison. It features the same dual pixel technology that I showed you in the Canon C100 at the start of the video. But this is massively improved. Rather than just a center rectangle, we're now able to touch the rear screen and select what we want to be in focus and it will track it. It's not just the autofocus which makes this camera very desirable. It features 4K internal up to 60p, although it is motion JPEG, so very heavy data use. Also, there is a crop of the video in 4K mode of around 1.3 times, but it's not as bad as the 5D Mark IV's crop, which is around 1.7 times, which makes this a much more attractive camera to use in 4K. The Canon image is just a beautiful looking image. It is one of my favorites. People talk about Canon color science, try and say that fast. Canon color science all the time at how they're the best at what they do. A lot of that is subjective, but there's no denying the image is really just beautiful. It's a pleasure to shoot with, but the camera does miss key things. Things which I've got used to on my A7 series, video assist features, punch in while shooting for focus check, peaking, zebras. There's no 4K HDMI out, it's only HD. No EVF, of course, because this is a DSLR. You have to use the rear LCD screen, which is actually very good quality, but that's what you use to touch select. So if you put a Z finder on there, you can't use a touch screen, but there is a joystick on the camera, which lets you select what you want to track. As a stills camera, it's an absolute beast. But as a video camera, it is also a very powerful tool. Shoots 120 frames per second in HD, full frame. 
but it's that 4K internal up to 60p that I fell in love with when using it. It's a truly beautiful camera. It's not cheap though. So my incredibly bright idea to do something interesting is to see if I can track anything as small as scale electrics. It probably won't work, but it'll be fun trying anyway. Although, I'll just be playing against myself. I still lose. Uh, Autofocus drive speed, fast, normal and slow. Uh, I want to keep it fast for this test. Track sensitivity is high or normal. And there's definitely different uses when you use them, of course. And, uh, We'll go through those during the test. And we also have um, focus area, wide, zone, center, flexible spot, and a lock-on. I think, don't think we can get lock-on um, unless you're taking stills. I could be wrong, but anyway, let's uh, give it a try. I don't know if he's catching any of that. All right, let's give this another try. Well, it hates that, doesn't it? Let's try a longer lens. I really don't see what the challenge is with autofocus here. This should be a piece of cake. Nothing's fast moving. This seems to make total sense to me. It should work. I don't know. Whoops. There's 1DX Mark II, Sigma 24mm Art. Uh, let's give it a try. No chance. Come on! This one's faster. Let's try this one. I don't think it's doing it at all. It's not. Nice idea. Um, I'm gonna give up. So I really don't think uh, this is gonna work. It was nice in principle, but it seems the cars are too small to track, even with the 1DX, uh, selectable focus. Um, and it's too fast. It's really hard to keep the, the speed going really slow on these. I mean, I'll do a few more tries, but I think I need something a, a little bit more sedate as a test. This is just too intense. Technology is not there yet to track Skeletrix cars. Uh, it's a shame, because that would be incredible. I'm not even gonna bother trying most of the cameras. If the 1DX and the A6300, no, 1DX Mark II and the A6300 from Sony can't do it, then the others won't either. Oh, I'll still have a play. Stay on the old granny. Don't come. Duck. Duck. Nobody can deny it. You got a good thing going on. 
You got me spinning like a yo-yo As you play me all night long So you gonna give me what I want We may as well crack on with this test, see if it picks me up There we go I'm word drop the mitre Lower, so it's not in shot And we'll see how it goes I want it all from It's up to you, you gotta choose. 